I feel like Barb and Source will be much more fun to play. Druid also didn't feel very uh, as strong, but we don't have like full updates on the Druid right now. Beta is not live now, no. Beta will go live early 2023. Um, Necromancer. Caster Center Close Quarters. He uses Essence. Physical damage. Unknown class skill groups. Book of the Dead was his thing. Which I didn't like that much, honestly. And yeah. Oh, wait. So, yeah, we don't have the full Necromancer skill locked as either. So, we've got Corpse Explosion, similar to D2. Bone Spear, similar to D2. Bone Spirit, similar to D2, but a little bit different. Blight. Not really sure what that is. Blood Surge. Decompose. Seems like he's sucking the soul out of it. Raise skeleton. And these skeletons definitely were smarter following you around. Distant Ball, thank you. Milan Luck, thank you for the prime subs. You also get a golem. Get your big old boy. Iron Maiden. Decrepify Bone Prison. That's, I mean, Bone Prison looks so good. Wow. And Blood Mist. You turn into a mist of blood. Was that hitting? I guess so. Vlad confirmed, yeah. Uh, Necromancer Dismount Ability. <gasps> kind of just like a shock, forward shockwave. Does a slamming of the ground for a cone of bone magic. Uh, here's the class mechanic. Um, so he has Book of the Dead and three customizable summons, Skeleton Warriors, Mages, and the Golem. Each summon has one of three specializations you can choose one. For example, Skeletal Warriors can be Skirmishers, Defenders, or Reapers. Skirmishers are standard warriors but have increased damage or reduced health. Defenders have bonus health. Reapers have slower attacks, deal damage in an AoE in front of them, and have a special wind-up attack that deals a high amount of damage. Each specialized minion in the army has unique upgrades. Sacrifice the ability to summon a specific unit for a personal permanent buff. With this, players can mix and match having none, some, or all of the possible summoned units while still having the relevant options. So, basically, yeah. Skirmishers, Defenders, Reapers. And this is for um, each one of those summons. You get to decide, do you want it or do you not? So you can see Durable Shared Bearers. With 50 increased life, upgrades every 10 seconds, your skeletal defenders negate the next instance of direct damage they would take. Um, increase the amount of thorns that defender warriors inherit from you, 30 to 50%. And if you sacrifice it, you gain 15% non-physical resistance, but you can no longer raise skeletal warriors. So that's if you choose those. These these are definitely placeholders, right? They, they have to be. Yeah, these are old. We don't have... Uh, good like stuff here we don't have all the information of this necro because they also don't even have the jelly roll attack exactly so this is this is a little primitive um armor all resist healing receive chance to dodge this doesn't show the other piece as well there's going to be another thing you would definitely gain from it because you can see each of these have like two one two two one two 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 so necro will have another one that'll give three additional bonuses but we don't have all the information on the necro yet um so i'm curious how he'll actually end up being i do feel like book of the dead though is a little meh of a um 
class like mechanic because it just feels like you know sorcerers gets the enchantment which is like super awesome like even the rogue she gets the like super like bonus combos or whatever she wants there it just feels like book of the dead like you have to sacrifice all this just to gain a little bit like you can't summon skeletons anymore just to gain 15 percent non or you know non-physical resist I gained 15% resistances just to lose all of my, my summon skeletons. Like, it feels like that's a trade-off in itself, not like I just gain something, you know? So I, I think it's the weakest of my thoughts of the, the class mechanics. <laughs> mm-hmm. 